Older, what I've always loved about Dwayne Lucas is he's got his favorite hotel. He's never changed it. He stays in it every time when he's in Louisville, and he loves the city. He's always been a big booster of Louisville and its different restaurants and the life here that he spends several months here for the Duran Derby time. 88, still very active like know, that. Something I hope to be one day. And as he's up well. in the saddle. Yeah, Doug, you'll gonna... probably be 88 and still anchoring our news. That's right. That's right. You'll still be a young man. You don't <laughs> age. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> well, we have some light showers that are pushing through the metro right now. Now, but that's really it. We'll continue to see some off and on showers as the night progresses. But what you're probably noticing as well is that our winds have picked up, and that's really going to be the big story for tomorrow. In addition to a couple of light showers, here's a broader view of the area. Moving into Grayson County, we're going to have a little health, healthier downpour, but no lightning with any of this, no thunderstorms, nothing that's going to be severe tonight. And through Washington County, Indiana, up there near Salem, you're also seeing a larger area of some steadier rainfall at the moment. And we had some very good rainfall today. Look at Frankfurt, 1.77 inches over rainfall for today. That was certainly very healthy. Nearly an inch in Carrollton, uh, over an inch and a tenth here in the metro, 1.1 inches in E Town, near an inch in Brandenburg, Hardinsburg, and in Litchfield. So, definitely some very beneficial rainfall for us for today, especially after how dry uh, last month was. So, this is going to be making up for some lost ground. Here's a look at future cast as we head through the rest of this evening into tonight. Tomorrow morning, we'll wake up the temperatures in the 40s for us. A mix of sun and clouds, but we'll still see another band of some showers push through the region as we head into the midday hours. Temperatures are going to lag just a little bit, and it's going to be in the 50s for a good portion of the midday. But as we head into the late afternoon, we'll start to see the sky clear out just a little bit. Temperatures will recover into the lower 60s. It'll be a cool start to our day on Saturday, but a lot of sunshine, so that's going to be very at nice temperatures will jump into the lower 70s and then as we head into Sunday we'll see those temperatures jump even further into the upper 70s possibly even knocking on the door of 80 degrees in a few spots we'll have a mix of sun and clouds across the area all in all it's going to be a very comfortable day for us on Sunday and our temperatures are going to continue to get warmer from there here's a look at that hometown forecast so windy for tomorrow we'll see those sustained winds at about 20 miles per hour gusts up to 35 miles per hour at times. And as we check out the seven day forecast, 83 degrees on Monday and then a long stretch of 80s as we head through next week. Rain chances will also be returning Tuesday through the middle of it next week. That's going to be the next storm system that we're watching.